I've got a lemon verbena plant here, which is badly in need of a repot. And one of the reasons that I want to show this is that when it comes to looking after a plant that's looking a bit sad in a pot, particularly a woody perennial plant like this, there are ways of doing it which I think people often get a bit scared of. Now, this is a plant that was I planted as a small plant into this pot last year, last summer, and it did well. It grew to this sort of size. I then managed to overwinter it successfully, which is good because they don't much like cold winters, and we had quite a mild one here in Devon. But now it's, it's looking a bit sad, and there's quite a gap between the top of the terracotta pot and the compost. And many people might think, well, isn't it just a matter of adding a little compost on top and that'll cheer it up? It might work. But there's also a way of taking it out of the pot, getting a lot of the old compost away from the roots, and freshening it up in that way, putting a load more compost in around the roots and over the top, and then giving it a good water. And that, I think, should cheer it up. Now, I use my own compost, because that's what I have. I try not to buy in. In fact, I haven't bought any in this year. Um, and so... And it's quite nutrient-rich. It's all the recycled kitchen waste and garden waste with a little bit of added cow manure from the cow shed. So it's pretty good, nutrient-high. So I think that'll cheer it up. And it's pretty simple. You can tip it out of its pot, tear away some of the old compost, add the new, and then give it a good water. So let's give it a go. So we've done the potting up, done the change, change the compost, and the compost is quite dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a real good soaking and let it drain through. And I've put the pot on the bed in the tunnel so that the excess water will drift out and not be wasted and get onto the cucumber bed and around the French beans here. So I do it quite gently. Now, the white dots are a little bit of perlite. I happen to have a sack of perlite knocking about, so um, I've been using that in my propagation. And what perlite is, is a, it's, it's basically an inert volcanic rock that's heated to a high temperature. And it adds as a, it, it acts as a kind of filler, it holds some moisture and creates air spaces in the compost. So it's very good for, for propagation. Now, I, I think that is going to make my lemon verbena plant grow really well again. So just a gentle watering until it's really soaked through. And I've only filled the compost to just below the lip of the pot so that there isn't going to be too much spillage over the side. And I'll make sure to come back and water that again. I don't need to keep it in the tunnel because it's been outside since so the temperatures are so high. But that's a way to repot a pot plant that looks a bit tired.